Guys, I just want to give you an update regarding Ifiangi, Davido's son. Because for me, this will be the last update that I'm giving you until the parents have come out to actually tell us what is really happening. Because according to a source close to the heartbreaking incident, the Naini was with Ifiangi on the day that Ifiangi passed away. If came to join them. The nanny was said to have moved slightly away to receive a call. This is the nanny that is supposed to look after the child, okay? Because you know that the chef is up, the chef is supposed to be the he takes care of the kitchen cooking and everything. So then it happened that they were just together there, and then when she received a call, the nanny she decided to step out and then leave the chef with the child. When she returned, she couldn't find Ifiangi and assumed he was with the chef. She just assumed they maybe they stepped out together. But then the chef said he had left him with her. They began to frantically look for Ifiangi all over the house. You know, they stay in mansions. Obviously, it will take time for them to actually, you know, give up and say we cannot find him. Whilst they were still looking there, and after 20 minutes had actually passed, the security on the other side spotted him in the pool. No one could explain how the boy got inside the pool. The source continues to say that Chioma and the Davido arrived to this devastating news when they got home. Davido ran mad, guys. He literally tore his clothes and wanted to run into the streets, guys. This is so sad. He was held back. He and Chioma are inconsolable, guys. The source continued to say that the boy's body has been taken to the mortuary and there are indications that an autopsy will be done to determine the cause of his death. And on the other side, today, because this, this news is not from today, guys. I think it's from two days back. It's only that yesterday I didn't uh, look into any of this. I kept seeing other videos, but I just... Uh, I was not because I knew that there were just videos, you know, the same one that I did. So I didn't really look into everything too much. And today, that's when someone said that the boy is actually alive. That's when I thought, let me just click and see what's happening. And I thought, let me rush to Facebook and see what's happening. And then this is what people had to say. Someone says the mother posted on her Twitter account and said, it is well. We don't know how it is well. If the boy is alive or not, or whether it is well, well, because God has said, he has said it, you know. So, guys, I don't know. I don't know. Some people are believing that the boy is fine because there are rumors that hey, the boy is fine. And then the father also said, my son is safe and sound. And then another person also came up with this one. Apparently, this was a chat that happened between... Davido and the friend. Big bro, what's really going on? Twitter is going mad, boss. I'm pissed right now. Just tell me it's not true. Then the Davido responded and said, everything is in God's hands. And then the friend went on to say, I hope he's awake now. Then Davido said, the doctor said he'll be in a few hours. And then this one said, okay, I pray for you and your family. God is real, bro. He's going to wake him up. And then I asked myself, what kind of a friend does this? This guy is going through this strange time, honestly. Even if he had told this shit that happened between them is true, did he have to leak it out to the public so that the public can have something to mince on? Honestly, I would, if it's me, I'll definitely remove you from my list of friends because that is not good. Yeah, we, we are waiting for them to actually come and confirm this news, whether the news are true or not, guys, because... Even if it's true, guys, right now is a hard moment for them. Maybe when I wake up, I'll be told I was on a long, you know, sleep and I was dreaming. Because it has happened to the most of us. We, you lose your loved one, guys, and you wake up, you ask yourself, what is really happening here? Am I still dreaming or what? What am I even doing here? You see yourself at that funeral, you ask yourself, what am I even doing here? You know, it's so painful, guys. And then again, guys, I'm not sure. For me, I, I, I really wish this is true. This is true that this child is there and he's alive. Because I tried to check his uh, uh, Instagram account because the other day I checked his Instagram account. I could have 
and I was able to access the account guys right now when you try to click on that thing link it doesn't take you anyway it just breaks you know so let's really maybe yeah they removed it because they're trying to avoid this whole drama that's happening around them because right now it's like a dream to them guys also I wanted to advise that parents if you have swimming pools try and make sure that you put a net guys cover the swimming pool for me I don't even believe in the net because a small child a baby they can actually drown with their face down and then they, 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 they'll be suffocated by the water you know so I believe this thing that covers nicely I'll try and leave the photos there for you to see guys my love is real I'll see you later